These days in our very complex world, maybe, just maybe, those of us who are conservative need to recognize that issues are becoming far more complex and maybe, just maybe, require a little bit more nuance than ever before. Permit me to share with you three complicated, is my spelling getting worse or is it just me? Three complicated issues that perhaps demand that those of us who just like it like this need to be a little bit more pastoral. Complicated issue number one, the spate of mass shootings. Yikes! When is this going to end? I guess when Jesus returns, but until then it would appear that we are now living in a culture where more people are getting gunned down by people with guns. Liberals are very quick to say, we need more gun laws. Might I suggest to you, my conservative friend, this is going to hurt a little bit, that we don't automatically just respond like we're in the doctor's office with the big kick thing, with the bing, with the, I don't want to get all medical on you, that we just don't automatically go, hey, we don't need more gun laws. Can we at least say to our liberal friends, okay, if you have more gun laws that you think will keep school shootings from happening, movie theater shootings from a couple that are just doing their job on morning television from getting mowed down, We'll listen to that. Now, are we giving any ground by saying that? No. Of course you and I think that there are too many gun laws already, but that shouldn't keep us from saying, if you got a good one, we'll at least listen to it. That is not handing over the argument. That is not selling out. That is just being reasonable. Now, having said that and been all reasonable for that 20 seconds, might I suggest to you there are more issues that need to be considered when we take a look at mass shootings, because here's what I was thinking to myself. It seems to me that when we didn't have school shootings, we still had guns. That's right, back in the 50s and the 60s and the 1850s and the 18, 1710s, we had guns, but we didn't have mass shootings. Now that leads me to believe that something else has been introduced into culture. What are those things that we should be talking about and considering? Well, for starters, I would say to you, we're living in a post-Christian culture. So what thing has been introduced that maybe is causing these mass shootings? Uh, nothing. It, it hasn't been introduced. It's been taken out. God, Christianity, the Bible has been removed. And if you're liberal, you've got to at least be, look, we're willing to look at your gun laws. Can you at least recognize, okay, we're no longer as Christian in behavior and morals in population as we once were. Could that be a reason for the mass shootings? However, there are some other issues that make this complex. What about pornography? You know that man who shot down the two reporters, the cameraman and the reporter in Virginia? He had a big stash of pornography. Are we taking a look into all of their lives? What have they been consuming? Could that be contributing to this mental illness? It needs to be considered. Are these people that we're seeing in the news, are they, are they mentally ill? We need to be willing to ask that question. Now, we Christians have been trying to help with that, but the government doesn't seem to like us to get involved. We have help. We used to have places, we used to have facilities, churches used to take care of these people. Now where we take care of these people is typically in jail. Is that really loving? Is it loving to take care of mental illness by having people live underneath bridges begging for money? The church has the answer that could help the problem of mental illness, which is another related issue, and that is psychotropic drugs. Do you know that each and every one of these mass shootings involve kids that were taking some sort of drug for some sort of DSM-5 prescribed problem? Violent messages in videos, in music, in movies, could that be contributing to mass shootings? What about broken homes? that these kids are just angry. What about we got to take a look at another one? Daycare, more studies, even in psychology today, saying that these kids are very busted and they are suffering from something called post-traumatic stress disorder, which is leading them to not be bonded, to not to submit to authority, and to be very angry. Could these be contributors to this? Now, having said that, and this is going to maybe seem a little bit strange to you, we Christians have got to be careful that we don't oversimplify a complicated issue and just say, brace yourself for this, 
the gospel is the solution. Well, of course the gospel is the solution, but we need to recognize that it's complex. And it requires more conversations than just saying, everybody needs to get saved, which they do. We need to recognize these issues are complicated. And if we're going to come up with a solution, we all need to be willing to look at what perhaps are the underlying causes.